Hi, today we are going to execute SQL script using Mule pre-built database connector. The script can have multiple statements that includes DDL and DML commands. The script can have different types of statements. It can have other statements for the schema manipulation and also for data manipulation. No input and output parameters are accepted and the operation runs any script that does not involve SQL projection. And also we cannot provide dynamic parameters to the script. Let's take an example of the demo project and add execute script database connector. We have a demo project and let's search for the database connector. Let's drag and drop execute script connector. This pre-built connector we can use to execute multiple SQL statements. So let's start with the basic settings to connect to MySQL database server. So let's select the connection type and add the JDBC driver and we'll provide the basic information, the user information to connect to MySQL server. Let's add user and also password. Click on OK. With this information, we will be able to connect to MySQL server there are two ways we can provide the script information. We can use query section where we can add SQL statements or if we already have a SQL file with the script information, we can just provide the path here. So one of the following must be filled to avoid any error. Let's try to copy SQL statements from MySQL workbench. In previous session, we have used a DL, DDL statement to create a table. So let's refresh flight database and see we don't have any tables. So let's copy this DDL statement to create a booking table inside flight database. So let's paste the statement as it is. And also we will try to insert records into booking table. So let's add insert queries as well. So we are trying to execute both DDL and DML statements. We can have different types of statements as previously mentioned. We can have insert, select, update, delete queries. And now we have the combination of DDL and DML statements. So we have added the queries into query section. So let's try to complete the flow. We just have execute script connector and the flow is incomplete. So let's try to add the listener connector to source uh, section so that we can trigger the execution of the flow. So let's leave all the default values as it is and we'll provide path. We'll add script as a path and we'll try to run the application. Okay, let's add the output payload as well. So let's try to provide user the complete mule message so application is already getting deployed so let's wait for the deployment so we're just listening to http request and executing a uh, few statements few sql statements and providing user the mule message so let's execute script api We are getting success response. The response code is 200, but the HTTP response body is not as expected. Looks like the transform message that we added at the end is not considered when the application is deployed. So looks like that is the issue because we are explicitly providing user the JSON response, but it's not considered. So let's refresh and see if the table is created as expected. Yes, the table is created and also records are inserted. Okay, the script worked as expected. We created a table and inserted record. So let's try to execute the API again. And now we are getting an error. It's saying the booking table is already present in the flight database so let's try to delete it because we have the ddl statement to create the booking table so it's it was already present so we got an error so let's try to delete and execute the api again 
okay we don't have the table so let's execute script yes now we are getting success response we are getting 200 response but the response body is not as expected so let's verify yes we are getting the uh, table and also the record inserted as expected so let's do one thing let's stop the application and deploy the application again so okay previously the table was already there we got an error but after that we got success but the response body is not as, as expected so let's redeploy the application and we should be able to get the response in json format so meanwhile we'll uh, remove the table we'll drop the table and we'll create again by executing the api okay we don't have any table inside a flights database and application is deployed let's execute the script api yes now we are getting success response and also the response body is as expected looks like previously this a transfer message where we are building the output payload was not considered when deploying the application so after redeploying it's working fine first statement is ddl which is not updating or inserting any records so it's zero and subsequent sql statements are for insert so we have one for each so let's refresh and see if we are getting the table and also records as expected yes we are getting all the details as expected so let's remove the table again if we see any issues uh, in the way we are getting the response or if you are not getting the response as expected we can always debug uh, and understand what's going wrong so let's try to debug this application let's add a breakpoint and run the application in debug mode so that we can understand if something is going wrong so previously we were not getting the payload as expected so we can just execute a component and see what we are getting after executing execute script so application is running in debug mode so let's see what is the script and what payload we are getting so if you see the script we have different types of sql statements we have ddl and dml and after executing this component we are getting a result in a payload and payload has the details as expected right we are getting the payload this time so after adding the last transfer message so we are getting the response in application json format so ddl is not updating any records and insert queries or inserting records into booking table so this way we can debug the application and understand if something is going wrong and fix it so we used the query section where we have uh, added dml and ddl statements together and executed the script so let's try to create a sql file with the same details and see how it works with a file so let's create a script file in source main resources folder let's name it as script.sql so we have inside resource folder and let's try to add the script into the file so the file is open let's try to add the same statements same sql statements that we have used previously let's open in editor mode and just paste the statement as it is so we have the file ready we have sql file let's save it so this sql file has all the scripts so let's remove the statements from query section yes these are uh, the statements that we have added in the sql file and let's try to refer the file if we don't fill query or uh, the script path sections we will get an error so let's try to provide the path for the sql file it's there inside source main resources so let's try to 
give the name of the file if there is if this file is inside a folder or something you you will have to provide that as well slash folder and then slash the sql file name so let's save the details and deploy the application application is deployed successfully let's execute currently the application is running in debug mode uh, so let's just disable the breakpoints and execute the table is already there let's just drop the table and execute the api again yes we are getting success response and again as expected so this time we have used uh, the sql file we added sql statements into the file and provided the path to refer the details from the sql file this way we can use execute script db connector to execute different types of sql statements together we can provide uh, the sql statements in query section or we can create a sql file with the script information and provide path details here in the connector that's it about execute script database connector thank you